Hi, my name is Nojad, some of you guys know me as Shubham, Spurs Video Podcast. Man, that QPR game. Loads of cliches going into ours oh, come to mind. Here's, here's the mind cliche. How the fuck do you get a selection wrong and then decide, oh my god, at half time I better change it? Tactically, the selection one, we were so inept, we were so imbalanced. Bale is a left back. Yeah, he was, but he's actually better as a left winger. And we are best when we have both wingers going, you know, going forward. What we lack is that player in the middle that can find them on either wing, that can thread the full pass on either wing, so they can, you know, so they can beat, them, yeah, so they can take on their man, and we can get beat on the overlap. That's the one player I think we lack. I've got to say it though, Jan Vertonghen, that man, fucking, he's telling us to, he, we have two beasts now, Sandro, and we have like beast number two or something. That man, I mean, going forward, I mean, beautiful little inside pass there. Bale, I mean, the tackle, match one in tackles, I mean, that guy was just the nuts. For me, we, we had this thing on Spurs from that card at UK um, that Gareth does. Well, no, it's not Gareth, someone, you know, one of the guys does it, he sort of scapegoat of the match. My scapegoat of the match, I want to say Ben Bailey because it was his poor challenge and then him staying on side, you know, him, him playing Vox and Moral side that led, to, that led to their goal. But for me, my scapegoat of the match has got to be Carl Walker. There were so many moments when he didn't have to give the ball away, he gave the ball away needlessly. And defensively, he is all over the fucking shop. I'm really, I cannot say that enough. And he needs to sort that out as quick as possible. I don't know what the hell, you know, Ledley King, yeah, you better have a word or something because he was absolutely terrible. Um, Brad Friedel, first half, he kept in the game. Second half, he had nothing to do. Um, the one thing that you can say, and I know Super says his, his distribution at times is very poor. He, you know, he claimed it, which we would have been asking him to do. But then he kicks it, who set up there, and he gives it away. Possession, you must be good at possession. Yes, yeah, so if you're going to kick it, kick it into a diagonal corner at least. Then kick it straight to the opposition's half, so they're going to they're get it and you know bring it out again. So distribution wise, I think he has a lot to learn, but I don't. I somehow that's not happening. So I can see if not this, not next week. Hugo Lloris is going to be playing soon. We're going to see a lot better distribution kicking-wise anyway. Sandro and Dembele. Sandro, I must admit, when I saw him, he would yeah, he immediately would drop back beautifully. I don't know why we have to sort out his passing. Seriously, I don't know how you do that. How do you improve someone's passing? Is it called coaching? Because we need to do some of that because the passing was woeful. One of the things I've noticed is that I've been really looking at why can't our players just slip the man and get behind? We insensitively pass back because Luka Modric has one incredible ability. I call it the Luka trick. He get the ball back to goal and then spin his man, break the ball forward. We have no one that can do that. And so either we learn that trick or we look to, you know, develop, you know, bring us on it or we look to work that. The other thing is Gareth Bale, you know, look, we always know that when you play him in reverse winger, you, you know, he's shunned so much on someone this week if uh, he's done. And that's, you know, that's, that's standard. Me personally, I don't get why these guys aren't practicing God knows how many corners and free kicks with their right foot just make them you know look whatever you do on the, on your left you double up on your right you know penalties double corners free kicks double and that way you get used and the confidence to attack with your right foot and you know the good example is that Aaron Lennon against Fulham last season scored with his left foot everyone's looking at him to go on his right he you know, shoots with his left Aaron Lennon he's hitting form there were some moments it's unlucky for him because he hasn't got anyone to aim at that first half he had no one to aim at um, we need to be better at getting into the box and actually giving him at least a couple of targets to aim for. Because if you've got three, if you've got like two defenders, you know, especially if, you're, if he's not very not, not the tallest, it's going to be difficult. But if you have two targets, it splits defenders. And if you have a runner like then Bailey's got to be getting into that box, very much like Lampard, he has to be getting into that box there. Even if he's not, you know, he doesn't get the ball, he brought, draws the defender out, and it's got to be that offensive running that he's got to do. And I think his offensive running without the ball has got to improve but yeah I'm happy when I mean, we got the home win and you know Arsenal I don't like to hear the boos at the you know at half time but my god you know the one thing that annoys me is that set up right from the start Harry did that as well he'd make a mistake and then he'd think oh shit I need to change it I'll go, I'll go credit to QPR they were a very good side I don't think they deserve to lose obviously I'm not going to be exactly disappointed they did lose but my lord we made it life hard for ourselves um you know, Cole Gallas, you know, played some you know, good moments, but then he could give the ball away. It's just 
the one thing about for me is the recycling we'll 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 get the possession or we'll give away cheaply and then we'll lose a lot of energy to try and get that possession back the the loads of action points here quicker pass quicker and more accurate passing i don't know what they have to do get them laying foots out or something anything get them quicker and more accurate with their passing you know and that way because look you can run the ball you want but if you've got no one to pass out to, a quick interchange of passes can actually, you know, all it takes is one player to be out of position and that's it. They, are, they look vulnerable. Running with the ball, it's only effective if you've got a good pass in you or a good shot. And we didn't seem to have that. That's something we definitely need to work, work on. Uh, so definitely man of the match for me was um, Vertonghen. Uh, Lennon was close behind. Kulka, you know, superb. Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we we're, we're a lot better, we're a lot more balanced, you know, and he got us to equalise I'm hoping... Assuming Carl, you know, uh, Carl, Carl Norton, was it Carl Townsend? Assuming Carl, Ta Carl Norton is actually um, injured uh, against uh, Man U next week, that we play, you know, that back four that I think most have suggested. Walker, Gallas, Kulka, uh, Batongan. And, you know, we look to play that 4-2-3-1. Um, Clint Dempsey, I like Clint Dempsey. He's a good player, but he hasn't got that passing ability that we'd want. Okay. He hasn't got that Rafa eye for a pass or that Rafa, you know, the way the Rafa can find that angle, you know. And look, obviously, look, Rafa's going to go, and that was just a sad thing. And I don't think Clint Dempsey, is Clint Dempsey anywhere near as good as Rafa? God, no. And I really would persist for Sigerson because Sigerson, the man is two footed. The man is two the, the, not only is, not only is the bread two footed, you know, he's got a shot and a pass on him, you know. What we need is better offensive running from Sandro and from Dembele, and we, he'll get the time space he needs. He has to be quicker with the ball. We all do. Quicker and more accurate. But if we can get that working, you know, we are a work in progress. But do you know what? We're on equal points of what, what, one point behind Man City. And yeah, if we manage to, what was it? I don't know, hold on to you know, the results against Norwich and um, uh, West Brom, we would have been you know, in top four. So it's just that we're good. We're not there yet. We are a work in progress. We just need to improve in certain things, and hopefully, come January, we can get that ball-playing midfielder that can spot that pass, you know, and another striker who can who can partner, you know, JD. Because Clint Dempsey isn't the man to do that. He isn't, you know, he is best of coming off the wing on a four in a four-four-two. He is not that, you know, he's not going to be in a four-two-three-one. He looks kind of lost, but you know what? You learn more from your mistakes. Hope you find better players will learn from this mistake. He was, you know, he's gonna have his little cubby hole, his little pod in, um, you know, balls cross, angry cows, or whatever you wanna call it. And he'll be looking at it, and say, do you know what, what, you know, and I think he should talk to the players and say, look, what went wrong here? I need to fix that. And you work with the players, you know, you work with them. Say, look, this was the problem. Let's just try and work out a solution. I think that's something we need to do. Um, giving my shouts out to uh, my mate Peter Stuckswitch, Stooky, as you know, as some some guys on a rival uh, message board known. <laughs> Uh, great guy, and hopefully we'll be linking up some German people. So, if I'm a my German, and uh, yeah, give my shouts out to guys like the Prodigies, uh, Toza, Super Spurs, Hank, Major Hank. Yeah, you, know, you, you know, you know, you know, and all you know, Super um, Silver Race Titan, and a mate of mine is actually in Thailand. Lucky, you know, although you know, I would say lucky bitch, but it did look kind of overclass the day she was there. So, um, yeah, sh uh, shout out to Crew Maria. Anyway, and like she's a, she's a yid, and you know what? She can kick like a mule. Anyway, always good hands to you, and as always, come on, you Spurs! <laughs>